What's up, guys? It's me, Nate, again. Uh, I'm tuning in to talk about some silly patents. So, uh, yeah, I was looking online, um, and some of the patents I found are just truly ridiculous. Uh, they're pretty hard to believe that someone set out to actually make them legitimate. Um, it seems like a lot of them lack usefulness. Many of them are pretty funny, uh, and we refer to these ones as silly patents. Uh, some of some of the ones I saw are Shinsky's Whiz Pouch, Human Car Wash, but in this one I'm going to be focusing on one of my favorites, which is the Toilet Snorkel. So what is it? You may be asking, uh, and my answer is I'm not. I'm still not really sure. Uh, it's one of the weirdest things I've ever come across, but after reading a little bit more into it, it's not as insane as it sounds. Um, it's a, it's abstract proof to me that it does have some usefulness. Um, so written online, it says the recent rash of fires in high rise hotels and deaths occasioned thereby has given rise to the need for a breaching device and method for supplying a hotel guest, uh, and or fireman with fresh air until he can be rescued. The device and method of this invention provided or provide the insertion of a breathing tube through the water trap of a toilet to expose an open end thereof to fresh air from a vent pipe connected to a sewer line of the toilet to enable the user to breathe fresh air through the tube. So what is it exactly? Basically, it's a snorkel tube device type thing that you insert through the water hole that's at the backside and the bottom of a toilet. And one end comes up uh, through that waterway and it breaches the surface of the water and the other end connects to your mouth. So you can breathe clean air in case your building is on fire. Um, so it actually seems kind of useful, um, especially because we can assume that the water coming from the inside of a sewer pipe of a toilet is probably more clean and safer to inhale than water or than air that would uh, can that would be contaminated by smoke from a fire. But the thing is, it's kind of gross. You're basically breathing in the air that hovers above your toilet water in the sewer drain that transports your waste. Um, the first claim explains what it is. The second one says that you should probably flush your toilet before ins uh, inserting the tube, which I would probably agree with. Is it novel? Yes. I have never seen anything like this. I would have never thought of this myself. Is it obvious? No. I wouldn't say so. Um, is it useful? Yeah, probably. And next time my building's on fire, if I'm stuck up there and I don't know what to do, I'm going to find a tube in my room and I'm going to insert it into my toilet and I'm going to breathe until I'm safe. And I can thank the inventor, William O. Holmes, for this. So I hope you guys learned something. It may be silly, but it also may be useful. So tune into my next video. I'll be talking about some other funny stuff like the shoulder saddle. Uh, yeah, have a good weekend.